Um, good afternoon and welcome to the Biomarine Conference pitching sessions. With me we have uh, Nuno Coelho. Nuno, welcome. Thank you very much. From uh, A4F, uh, which is a bioengineering company started in 2008. Um, and I would like to ask you, as a first question, if you can um, let us know a little bit how, how the inception of the company uh, was and um, what partnerships have you developed so far? Okay. Um, we started the company in 2008. We had at the time a contract with uh, our national company, Oil Gulp. Um, and we have uh, started in 2007 other projects with our main at uh, partner, which is CESO, a local cement company. It's an international Portuguese cement company. They have operations in five continents. Um, the main idea in the beginning had to do with CO2 and uh, the uh, extraordinary ability that algae have to fixate CO2. It is by far the most efficient bioprocess of fixating CO2. So we started the project by that. And around 2010, uh, Cecil uh, chased us to build the largest unit, largest commercial unit to produce microalgae. It is actually the largest in the world. And so we just uh, commissioned the unit uh, by the end of last year, beginning of this year. And we are now starting uh, building up the production. OK. Which, in your view, would be the key differentiating factors for A4F uh, in the market? OK. If I had to put it in one word, it will be definitely experience. Algae, uh, it's an extraordinary uh, nice business. Uh, if you let a glass of water in your window in less than one week, it will have algae inside and visible algae inside. It will be possible for you to visualize it. But to do this, uh, to do to produce algae under uh, very strain, uh, straight, um, sorry, controlled conditions, it's very hard. And once you scale up and do it in very very large volumes like we do. 1,300,000 liters like we use, it is very difficult. So experience plays a decisive role, decisive role on this, on this matter, and it's extremely important to have a track record of small projects and producing other types of algae and producing even on different types of technologies. This will allow you to go with much more confidence to this. This was typically the track record that allow us to put in place and to operate this extraordinary big uh, facility that we have here in Portugal. Okay, um, can you tell us about uh, the the main um, what 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 the microalgae you're producing? What are uh, um, the main appliances that you can derive uh, for the product? This unit uh, that we are producing is uh, meant to produce 100 tons on a cruising speed. Uh, it will take us some time to get there, but we are producing very high quality food grade chlorella. So it is uh, meant for the human food market. Mm -hmm. Besides that, we have another company, which is Alma. And Alma is meant to develop the applications so we can sell the chlorella, not only the powder chlorella, but also on final products. By final products, we, you could see it yesterday here. Mm -hmm. We have applications on uh, ice creams, on chocolates, on snacks, on whatever. And so we are, besides producing chlorella, we have another company in the group that is developing the applications. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, we can even increase the value of our raw material, let's call it, which is chlorella vulgaris. OK. And um, um, in terms of, uh, of the production um, uh, center that you are uh, building, uh, the unit that, that you started uh, the end of last year, um, when do you plan uh, the, the, the producing facility to be um, ready to produce in a full uh, capacity? OK, so we start producing this year. I think maybe in two years it will be on full capacity. We still have to solve some issues that we have. So th this is why it's not possible for a microalgae production unit to start on its full capacity on the first year. It's not uncommon on industrial production facilities, even more related with food. So it has an, uh, a kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, developing process. Mm -hmm. But I hope that in two years' time, we'll be able to produce those 100 tons. OK. Do you already have plans to expand the production unit in the near or medium term future? 
we actually uh, do and uh, uh, actually we have already then already then a kind of an expansion because a part of our company is dedicated to the research and development projects and we were able to join one research and development project and the facility of that project uh, in the future it might be used also together with that unit so it will be around 3000 square meters uh, that we'll be adding to the to this new facility. So uh, uh, this will allow us also to produce a different type of microalgae that we have been trying now. We were successful on a small scale already, which is Hematococcus pluvialis, another species of algae. And uh, uh, we'll, we will use those facility, that facility also to produce um, the Hematococcus. But the idea as a company would be to build up with some other customers and partners this type of production facilities on a commercial scale in other countries in the world. Okay, thank you. Um, you, you the, 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 the profile we can find for an industrial partner for A4F mm -hmm. um, is generally speaking an industry which has uh, CO2, like for instance you, you had when you started with Galp or with uh, Cecil, mm -hmm. or are any other types of industries that can uh, see A4F as a partner to develop a, a partnership? Okay, I think the answer is both. Uh, when we think about algae and production units of algae, we always think about very big scale. Mm -hmm. So although this is the biggest in the world on closed systems, on photobioreactors, we think it as still a small unit and we know we have to upscale it very much. Therefore, in, if, if you think on very, very large scale units, the CO2 would be a key issue. So again, we'll be gladly having industrial partners, especially those who are emitting CO2 for our projects on a very big scale. That will be extremely important. On the other hand, partners that uh, will be needing the algae as a raw material for their own businesses, for instance, aquaculture, uh, animal feed, you name it, or even uh, farm uh, biotech companies that sell products directly to, to the customers, they can easily use the algae as a kind of raw material on their own processes, and those are also clients that we are targeting right now. Okay. So, and coming into the Biomarine conference, what, what would be your key expectations in terms of what are you expecting to take back from being present in such an important conference as this one for this sector? If you allow me, we, not, we do not look at this as a conference. We, do, we look at this as a business convention, which is mainly focused on business. And it is the first time we've been here. It is, uh, we've decided to invest in it as a main sponsor here, and we are extremely happy because it really, they really deliver what they promised. Meaning, uh, you can find here the most important people on the biotech sector all over the world. You have people coming directly from the US, from Canada, from China, you name it. And so, uh, Pierre and Veronique uh, are able really to deliver what they have promised, and for us it is extremely uh, nice to be here and we hope to close some deals in the near future that we started here on Biomarine. Okay. Thank you Nuno and good luck with, uh, with those opportunities and we look forward to see you soon uh, developing products and your projects in, in our economy. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much.